What's up guys? This is the Rofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War, my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as the Swedish Empire. And so to pick up where we left off, we secured the city of Amsterdam and we also um, repelled the army of Napoleon Bonaparte. However, we do see he is back. <laughs> back and stronger than ever. Um, but we are massing our forces ready to push on towards Brussels. And we also still have this force here, another Lars Roma, who is going to advance up towards Cleves as the front line um, shifts to potentially allow us to maybe push down towards Strasbourg. We can't go this way because it's Hessen territory, but we could push down in the south and hit Strasbourg and begin to surround the uh, surround the the French. We also do have a spy here who I'm actually going to immediately take away from his job there and send him west because I can't really afford to waste my spies um, doing research on the eastern front when I've got the west to fight. Hey. Mr. Roma's on his way. So there's two armies per front. We have a force here under Svetin Zetisburg. We've got heavy cavalry coming down to join um, Mr. Von Essen because he currently has no heavy cavalry. You're being fully, you're fully recruited. Good. In terms of research and tech, interchangeable parts is definitely the way to go. Um, but apart from that, I think I'm going to hit end turn. Hmm. Off you go, fleet. Ooh. The French have marched away from Brussels. That leaves... Ooh. Well, I think we have to jump on this. Mm, I'm not going to do it. I definitely don't want to break my trade agreement with Spain, but I'm not going to trade tech because I'm not that far off of interchangeable parts. And I don't want to start... Um, I don't want to start expanding Britain's um, intellectual capital because they will be a target for invasion once we've taken... Well, once we've pushed in and taken Paris, I think that will have done such a significant dent into the French... Uh, military engine, I think we could start to keep forces in reserve ready to land in London. And I might even have to go back and re-edit my unit cap uh, to make sure I can maintain... Well, to make sure I can maintain the maximum amount of armies in the field that I can. From Dorblin, he's continuing his research to get troops into the, re into the right part of the world. Mr. Roma, come down to Cleves. So, Mr. Skordebrand, I mean, I'm getting better at this whole battling in Napoleon Total War game than I can afford to send the one army in to take Brussels. Because Amsterdam isn't far behind, although I could really do with recruiting more militia to send that way. Just as some sort of a garrison. I might even... I'm not that far off of losing my militia cap. Yeah, two more units to join this army. Actually, no, you don't need two more units. You've already got two. So you've got your foot Jaeger battalion. Okay, so it's pretty much as good infantry you don't have. But you don't want to get any more of those because you're already going to have two. Kungun etet varfvade? Probably butcher that. We're running out of in Delta, so I might now might be a time to start. I could probably just send a regular frigate over to Finland to start to bring over some um, Finnish troops because we've still got a bucket load of them that we haven't actually been recruiting that many of. Um, but where's my spot? Yeah, pushing in towards Reims is a good idea. We're going to be we're going to be capturing Brussels, and it'll give us a bit of visibility on what's going on in Central Europe. By the time we get to well, by the time our spy gets to Reims, we might be knocking on the door already. So, Mr. Skaldebrand, let's attack the garrison here. Brussels, significant component of cavalry, so we need to be a bit careful. But apart from that, push on because our force is getting fairly elite. Brussels will be ours. Um, I would like Mr. 
uh, von Essen to push up to reinforce them at the earliest possible convenience. Because I do not want to see... Um, I do not want to see this force get isolated and destroyed by all those French stacks that are somewhere in the fog of war. At the very least, by capturing the city, that will ex they will expose the fog of war. Quiet, you. Right, so... If they're in the town, I don't think they can... Well, they, actually, they can probably traverse that from that position. So, we're going to advance through the woods. Again, I want to do... This seems to be working quite well. Having an Indelta militia um, anvil, if you like. And then having a stronger guard flank. I might put my foot Jaeger on the left. But I'll put my um, two foot guard units... My live live guard here, live guard, live guard. The spiffing green uniforms, plus the unit of Bjornborg, which are doing pretty well. Accuracy twenty one. Well, they don't outshoot my foot guards yet, but they're getting there. And we've got one more unit of Varvade infantry. Okay, let's split up our cavalry. I'm fairly sure these are all. We need to make sure we divide up our cavalry fairly well. Um, there's no great terrain from a gunnery perspective, except for over there. But I'm not go I'm not about to run an army, run a unit all the way over there unsupported. Weirdly, it's this back line here. Well, they can try it. Um, the howitzers are going to advance on the right in the clear. Stick in the clear um, space. Where six pounders can advance on the left as a bit provide a bit of cover. Socket bayonets off. I should have turned the should turn the advisor off already, but there we are. So there's the enemy artillery. Advance fairly aggressively with my infantry. Keep my howitzers pushing up. My twelves. Are opening up on the enemy guns. The main thing to watch out for is the enemy cavalry. So there's the general. Uh, 12 pounder. Yeah, make sure you are attacking the enemy positions. We don't want to run. General staff, follow. Well, don't march too... Don't make them run ahead too quickly. More artillery inbound. Hello, French cavalry. I've oh got are they all in the middle? Six pounders aren't advancing. Well, they can stick in the... Okay, there's definitely a cavalry charge. I mean, look at that. If we can... Oh, that's where they all are. I don't want my cavalry to overreach. You men halt. Allow the militia and so on to advance. It looks like they're going to charge into us. Looks like they might have to charge them. Well, they're very no. Actually, no, don't. They're running across my line. Redress my line to take that into account. They've scared off my my line sufficiently well. Howitzer and Limber. 
begin engaging. My infantry in the woods, engaging the enemy cavalry at long range. But we'll continue their advance. Bring in my flank. How it's a just unlim just unload on their troops. Those are a unit of lancers. So let's hold. <laughs> it's see, see, really like going after my foot Jaeger. As soon as I hold my foot Jaeger, they all just stop moving. My howitzer are opening up. They are beginning to fire. Maintain the push. It looks like they're starting to fall back into their little cluster again. There we go. We have some men engaging on the right flank. Horse guard form, well, my, get these infantry units to form square because the enemy, the 18th horse plus the 6th lancers, might be about to make their way into my squares, which will be pretty awesome. I've got my heavy cavalry on the right flank, so they'll be, be better placed on the right than the left to deal with the enemy threat. Now, they've not been destroyed. New men form square, because the sick lancers are about to charge in once more. So get that unit to form flank, form square, run my infantry into, the, into said square, push my cavalry in. They can't form square because of the cavalry, but I'm sure they will fall. Push my cavalry up on the right flank. The enemy lances are still up to no good. Get you men out of square. Get the infantry to form a line. You charge the horse guards. The militia should soon should open up against the cavalry on the right flank. You can stand to get out of square. Push Mr. Skaldebrand up. There we go, the cavalry have fallen. For now. So where's their cavalry force going to focus now? Because that unit of light horse is getting engaged on them from all directions. New men form a square because the cavalry are going to chase down my horse guards and they're going to hit your glorious square formation. You're going to form square too. Begin to advance my line forward to engage the enemy. Keep my cavalry moving. Is the enemy cavalry potentially broken? Human go like this. So who's there? The 18th Horse Guards are still active. Ooh, that's a fantastic how it's a hit.
new man form square because you've got horse guards coming in moving my light horse up front the skirmishes aren't really skirmishing commit my light horse to attack the horse guards although to be honest they're not actually very close Okay, let's get ready to start. Okay, who's that coming back? Charge the he the heavies with my light cavalry. Let's get ready to move my heavy cavalry up to block. Human, but open fire. Got some like some some dragoons coming your way. Let's bring my cavalry in on the left flank. They're exhausted though from con constantly um, maneuvering. Some da some really close range artillery here. I mean, General's making a break for it. Okay, you guys fall back into the enemy square. Get my horse guards to charge in. Into the light horse. The Vulture can pivot. Let's get my cavalry in, because we need to start winning some of these infantry engagements. Mr. Skulderbrand, get ready to support the flank. Significant cavalry engagement on the right flank. It's the regiment of cavalry gone. These hussars can engage this, the light horse. There we go. The route is beginning. Pull this cavalry back. I think the enemy cavalry force has been demolished. To so get the hussar to chase down the general, get my heavy cavalry plus my this regiment of hussars can stay here to blockade the enemy cavalry in case they return. militia unit got at most of these voltages as they ran through my lines. Yeah, you men just hunker down where you are. That line infantry unit may head your way. So the voltager at front are sucking up a lot of my fighting capacity. As are my the enemy guns, they're doing a significant amount of damage. Can you even attack the general staff? The cuirassier, get ready because the lancers look like they're coming in for another run. stuff. The cavalry is probably going to re-break at some point. I think their lances have broken. Oh no, there, there, there they are. There you go, my cavalry's broken a couple of units here. Commit them into the action. I think the enemy rear is yeah it is very unhappy these enemy gunners are still standing strong there we go 
the unit that's directly to our front has broken. So we can straighten up our front line. And oh, no, there's the Lancers. Uh, the General Staff's been killed, so I'm not so worried about them. Well, the General's been killed, sorry. The General Staff is still a threat. My artillery is going to cease fire. And yeah, my militia. Push forward and bayonet charge. This could be a bit of a gamble. Well, the bayonet charges always are a bit of a gamble. Because they're doing a lot of damage to the 21st Regiment. A brave regiment. Yeah, the cavalry starting to make appearances again. You men fire at will off. My howitzers can cease fire. There we go. Now we need to... I quite understand. But we must destroy their cavalry. These hussars may well break. Mr. Skaldebrand advanced through the field. Actually, you could just go chase down some of the enemy. There we go. The light horse have also broken in the town. They can't stand against our forces. And there is victory. So that is... Uh, Brussels captured. And we're going to loot it. Because we get a bunch of cash and they don't hate us that much. There we go. The army replenish. What have they got? I don't know what... It's probably a coastal artillery unit, so I want to be a bit careful with that. Which I wonder, if I just evict a coastal artillery unit out... Yeah, just do that. Push them out. Then the Royal Navy can swoop in and kill them. I'm not going to bother. We've got a university here in Brussels, but I actually want to change that to a secret society. No, isn't that what I'm doing? Yeah, you're on Masonic Lodge. In which case, then, you probably want to be a musket manufactory. Or well, I may as well go for a supply warehouse. The thing is, the musket manufactories, it reduces upkeep, but it reduces... Up, reduces uh, upkeep's pretty good, actually. I was thinking about the recruitment cost, because that doesn't mean anything to me. 4 plus percent replenishment rate. Well, I might take the plus 2 percent replenishment rate, plus 200 region wealth, actually. We aren't in a massive rush. I need to move my squash bottle because it's blocking the tick. There we go. Okay, so I might just push Mr. Backstrom up to auto Mr. Vulcanson, just to stop him from getting up to no good. We can replenish while holding the bridge here. Good. So then Lars Roma, you can advance up next turn to provide some support there. You're you, you guys are going to hold until you get your reinforcements. So Liege, Liege is not going to be university for very long. Let's get some better roads as well, and let's hit end turn. See how the French respond. Pushing an army into Stuttgart, pushing two armies into Stuttgart. Watch out, Austria. Mm, they're sending an agent to come over and spy on my territory. Thank God Prussia's not doing that much, because it would make them all the more difficult to stop. The fools. Do they not know my final desire? Yeah, if we take France, take out France and Spain, then take out Britain. 
Then we'll turn on the rest of the Allies. We will become the new France. Our flag's blue. Why the hell not? Although I might send actually a, a couple of armies south to fight against... Another agent there trying to kill my men. Trying to kill my general. If I put him inside Hanover, I think the recruitment still happens. Yeah, you're going to pick up. So you've got five slots. You're recruiting three units, so you can take two units of Finnish troops across to Stockholm. General available, Henrik Neumann. Neumann. Actually, some of those troops might be going to um, this guy. Although I, I bet me going into the city has cancelled his recruitment. Oh no, he's recruiting it. Wait a minute. Oh no, that's the cavalry. I was about to say, did I just recruit that from Copenhagen? The answer was no. I have got a sneaking suspicion I must have that must have cancelled his recruitment because all the Indeltro recruited are indeed the way. In Delta recruited location Finland, but in Finland Oh my god. No sir. You do not want to walk all the way across Russia, through Prussia, to get here. No, sir. Okay, we're not going to... Yeah, that's not going to happen. Where's my spy? Could try and kill their spy, but not really that, a, not really that much of a priority. Not compared towards getting some intelligence on what lies beyond the fog of war at Reims. Then we could take a militia unit, occupy Antwerp. I don't know what they are. Let's hit in turn again. There we go, Lars. Uh, yeah, my other my other army at Cleves has advanced and pushed forward to secure a bridgehead. More French troops are advancing towards Strasbourg. That's part of the reason why severing that artery, including the Napoleon. Is that Napoleon? Looks like Napoleon's also headed that direction. The French uh, have beaten the Prussian Navy. More spies are on the move. Nope. No Britain. I am not interested in giving you any more technology. Brit uh, Prussia has just captured Prague, it looks like. Hello. Is that... Um, Blucher himself. Looks like it was Blucher. Regno Napoli Sicily. Question is though, do I just leave an army to... Ooh, another spy. Okay, let's put this spy... Yeah, this spy in Holland can cover Central Europe. This spy, he's almost at Reims, so it'd be silly to not do anything with it. Reims is ripe for the taking. In which case, then, you may, you cover the ground between Reims and Paris. Because there is an army in Paris. Hello. These men are men of Napoleon's Imperial Guard. But Napoleon's not here. Some upgrades going. Okay, so you... Well, you're, you're actually close to finally getting your cavalry, so we're not going to advance you just yet. <laughs> but what I can do is actually leave a unit of militia within the city to act as a garrison. That will keep them sufficiently chipper Next turn you can re you can regather your strength. These two units can advance towards French territory, but not into it. I mean, I could just do a lightning... Well, I want another force to leap forward and capture Reims. 
Because Reams can secure this bridge just, and then an army can push up the rear, knock out this force, and drive south to Paris. So we've got our Masonic Lodge. Good stuff. You're still converting. One more turn till we get interchangeable parts, which will be great. Army sabotaged. Yeah, you have at it. Okay, good. So this in Delta unit's going the right way. Although he's... I think they must have thought this is blocked somehow. So then this in Delta... This um, Finnish troop shuffle can push over. Actually, you guys might not want to embark because they might be embarking into you. Well, I've got a feeling I can take over one more Finnish troop unit. They'll gather their strength, and then they might... Well, they will probably deploy, but they could deploy somewhere like here and start to fight against the French. Well, they might actually deploy here. Because if it looks like France is starting to destroy the Prussians, I want to take that territory. So if they push and take Berlin, I want Berlin. Till then, I want to maintain my offensive here. French Corvettes, workers on strike in Flanders, yeah, not anymore. There's discontent, but that'll soon go away once the Grand Opera House is rebuilt. So let's hit enter. Yeah, you're finally coming back. Ooh, they sense the danger. I really sh Question is though, do I cut off the Strasbourg route? while they are funneling troops to fight the Prussians. Is that a wise decision? Or do I let them keep reinforcing the front against Prussia? I mean, this guy better not... If he, if he attacks a French city and says, are you going to help me? The answer is going to be no. I don't like it when the AI deposits troops near my towns. Silly, silly Prussia. Reino de España. They've not really done anything yet. Another spy, this time in Sweden. In which case, then... Okay, you're going to have to get onto the... I may as well get the Delta unit on aboard ship now. While I move. And I'm going to may as well keep the... Eh... I should recruit a brig unit just to do some low-level um, shuttling duties. Where's my spy? Get over to Dresden. I want to see what's going on on the Prussian front. Hessian seems to be keeping the French away from their borders for now, which is quite useful. The cavalry can combine with Mr. Von Essen's force and he can advance... Up towards Brussels as well. We can recruit a brig to occupy this port. Should have done that a long time ago. It's only a militia unit, but... Yeah, let's, let's see if they raid it. Actually, yeah, let's see if they raid it. I've got the money to, to withstand losing the brig. I want this force to be replenished. And this force ready to push this force away from the bridge before I take Reims and get ready to jump on to Paris. You hold this bridge, just in case they fancy their chances. You may advance north of the wood. Okay, so you've gone on to Joint Stock Company. Not bad, plus five percent town wealth in all your regions. It's pretty good. Especially because I don't have that many mines. So we still carrying on with national propaganda. Because that plus one morale in all of my battles is pretty useful. Especially when it feels like morale is just... Morale is so critical. Massively, massively critical. Feels like more so in this game than any other Total War I've played. Morale plays a... Oh god, they've actually pulled back from the bridge defending Paris. <gasps> the 
French have pushed on to Castle, it looks like they're going to try and force a crossing across the river. Very well. I shall defend against your crossings. They've got... Six pounder and an eight pounder gun team, plus a twelve pounder, but fundamentally they're not going to be able to cross the river. We shall defend, good sir, and at the very least we're in our own territory, so we will be able to replenish in a way that they cannot. This is my first Napoleon Total War 3 river battle, that's pretty exciting. No, I'm going to have a bit of co- ah, oh, I'm the wrong side. But looking at the map, I can soon remedy that. So there's the bridge. And there's a ford. So let's follow Empire logic for a while. So over on the right flank, we've got. Let's put a grenadier unit, plus probably my Pjornborg and my. Ooh, can my militia deploy. They can deploy cover. I want to put the lion's share of my infantry, and I especially want to pre-deploy it as well as I can. The new men are going to run around, run around, and deploy over here. So you men should asterisk. Well, yeah, let's give you two more units of line as reinforcements with fire at will off. We'll give you the bulk of my cavalry. Because I'm pretty sure it's just this bridge. They can't cross in the centre because that's all nice and snaky. I oh, know I've accidentally. Okay, you group you guys. Send so the remnants. I might put a light infantry unit over here as well to deploy because that leaves us with two infantry, a militia unit and a lifeguard unit to defend. Oh no, were you part of that army? Nuts. Okay. Let's group you guys together. Let's borrow a regiment of foot with a uh, Dragonair Regiment Day Regiment, which is another heavy cavalry unit, which looks pretty awesome. My 12 pounders are going to deploy here to just engage wherever they like. Howitzer, uh, let's say they're going to support the bridge. My general is going to go to the right flank. I do not like, I never like seeing those reinforcement screens because I always think, am I going to get screwed over? I could well get screwed over. I shouldn't. If the game is logical, I shouldn't. But the hope here is we have enough massed firepower to fight off against the enemy. He says French reinforcements coming in from back here. Let's see if I can get my 12 pounders to engage. The trouble is, if we do get screwed over, we won't be able to find out until it's too late. Because they'll suddenly pop out of like here. Let's let my 12s... Well, speed up time, actually. Let my 12s continue to engage the enemy. They're not doing that great of a job of it. Oh, yes, please. They're running from a long distance, so they are going to be knackered. Knocking out some of the enemy units. No, they broke off their attack. 
This is part of the issue of not... Uh, should I get a... Not a lifeguard unit. Maybe my general. Get my general up on this hill to the rear. You can see the enemy infantry coming in. The enemy artillery coming in, I should say. New men engage. Six pounder. Because they are trying to kill you. Enemy cavalry is starting to come in. The light horse, horse guard. There's still some more cavalry and stuff to the rear. Chasseur. These are elite chasseur as well. My cavalry will deal with their artillery when I've defeated their infantry. It looks like they can't make up their mind about where they want to go. Yeah, all the power to them. If they can't make up their mind, they're just going to get howitzer to howitzer there and back. Because who's... It's got a horse guard unit. It's going after the bridge. Which is great. We'll wait for them to commit. Then we will drop everyone into squares. And then they will just melt. It's possible that the enemy cavalry and the bridge are just waiting for reinforcements. These men have cancelled their charge at the last minute. I mean, if they want, if they bottle it, just if they bottle it for their infantry, or so their infantry can join them, then that makes a lot of sense. You men are all gonna just dump into squares. Hold on, let's. So the handful of men that actually cross the bridge are gonna get shot to bits. At least partially. So knocked out one of their gunners. One of their gun teams. Okay, my working assumption is they don't want to push until the army shows up. So I'm going to pause the recording here, bring you guys back when something actually starts to happen. See you in a second, everyone. And obviously, almost immediately, something starts to happen. My men make, make ready and pour a volley in. I mean, that cavalry unit only lost a handful of men, but that was enough to make them pull back. Looks like the Chasseur a Pied really do not want to get involved. It sounds like they really don't want to get involved. We don't really have the means of actually stopping them either. Let's speed up time. Because until they actually commit, the problem is... is Okay, they've, so they've routed. Since I start actually targeting my artillery at them. You need a cuirassier. Gros frere. Good cavalry. Level 3 veterancy cavalry at that. Keep my 12 pounders just engaging the enemy. Cavalry is returned. Let's make this artillery switch to round shot to continue attacking the 19th light horse. This is what happens when you attack a. This is what happens when you attack a unit that's dug in at a bridge. They really don't seem to know what they want to do. Okay, chop the recording again. See you in a second. Ooh, actually, hang on. Hold the phone. We have a French Grenadier Regiment trying to cross our bridge.
Might move a Bjorn Borg over. They'll take their time. And let's take a light cavalry over here as well. I heard a cavalry charge. It's the Grand Frere. Yeah, you guys can't cross this bridge. Because there's infantry in the way. Which we can't see now, for some reason. So my six pounder, cease fire, howitzer, fire whoever you like. Form squags, looks like some of them might get through. So you guys stay out of it. Stay in. Stay in line formation. Get Mr. Roma over here. So these chaps push up like so. Actually, I think the call here, rather than engaging them like this. So I think we might let them deploy. Let them charge so we can properly surround and destroy them. Because all of my infantry is actually a bit upset at this. Do we actually want to give them breathing space? I think we might. Give them breathing space to get across the bridge. Especially as they've got their howitzers are engaging us. Okay, my howitzer here start to attack the fifth horse guards. Horse guards coming in again. Form up. So now you men can engage the grenadiers. You men might actually advance. Especially so if they're going to push off the bridge even more. Because that cavalry, infantry for the light horse, they didn't really stand much of a chance. I might actually slowly start to walk my light infantry over. You men can get onto their flanks. The 25th, 23rd horse guards can't do anything. There we go, we knocked out one of their artillery pieces. So where's my 12 pounder? Engage that unit there. On a one-on-one -on -one fight, they're lethal. But if we can wrap around their flanks like this, they'll never win. And then they'll lose a bunch of men once they've routed. They may well come back, but the, the ideal the ideal thing is they block the bridge to prevent the 23rd horse guards from crossing over. Let them continue to engage. So on this flank we finally have new targets. The infantry is slowly making their way across. So I think the idea is these guys will may hopefully tire themselves out of uh, or tire themselves out of sticking around. So 
So get ready. Canister shot. Only a handful of kills. But they are exhausted, so they're making terribly slow progress. Very slow progress. Okay, the Grenadiers have got but come back, um, come back alive and kicking. These are cavalrymen that would be very good to kill. Make my militia form square just in case. Not needed. Get back into the action. Are you men to fall back again to get the Sir, uh, Sir, is under attack. That was only a near miss. It's got twelve pounders to engage their eight pounder. They're broken and exhausted, they should be lost for good. Now, the infantry starting to come across, but they are also knackered. Come on, Grenadiers, come back! Oh yes, you're tired, so start running. Tire yourself, now you're very tired. I do like this Grenadier unit, it's tied up the 23rd. Because when the Grenadiers finally rout. It will be the end of them. Two infantry units coming across, a unit of conscripts and a unit of infantry de ligne. Ooh, good hit. Eh, not very good hits actually, <laughs> it didn't kill very many men. There we go, these grenadiers won't be around for too long. There's a light foot unit coming in, which will probably fall in the same way. Yeah, they're very tired and they're losing a lot of men in the flanks. Where is your precious general now? Your ammunition situation's good. spread these units out a bit more than I currently do. Because what I'm starting, what I am seeing is that a lot of the unit towards the rear doesn't actually start firing. And like these guys, they should all be firing now. Including the fourth rank. Good to know. So with the need to always maintain that perpendicular um, angle onto enemy units, it's not always easy or necessarily the best to maintain that that sort of depth. There we go. Yes. Oh, the light infantry is coming across the bridge now. Go after the 48th Regiment of Foot. They might actually be bugged. Oh, it's out of range. I see. But a veteran unit of Grenadiers is gone for. These units take their turn to drop into square because the cavalry is trying to cross. But the main bulk of the French army is now crossing or attempting to cross. So these dragoon, these horse guards 
they're going to fall pretty nicely. But this is where the main show is. Well, then again, they might run into the same issues we've seen before. Do they advance, or do they just sit there going backwards and forwards? At least over here, something's going on. These Dragoons can't really make up their mind about which direction they want to attack either. Artillery, 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 artillery. Once our cavalry is free to cross this bridge... Why even put my, again, another unit of light horse over here? Because when we cross the bridge we can just knock out the bulk of this army to the rear quite quickly. You can canister shot range now. Well, they're aiming at that unit. No. More of the cavalry is making it across. Deploy everyone into squares. That way the cavalry will be destroyed easier and quicker. It's poor unit of voltages. Oh. Cut down by canister shot. Get these men out of square. Then we'll make our way across the bridge. Start to attack the enemy. And will it, well, knock out the enemy artillery. I don't want to send infantry across necessarily. Because we might just see these guys about face and come after us. But if they do that, we'll try across the river. My cavalry across the river. So I'm trying to outface my. We'll get my infantry out of the way because my cavalry doesn't run through them so well. Sure, I'm loath to give up my. Advantage there. Yeah, okay, you guys cease fire. You guys cease fire. The enemy cavalry looks like they've, they're trying to come back. But these are heavy cavalry, so have at it. And they are also fresh. Twelve pounders actually get quite good, visit, quite good angles on the troops in the centre and ignore their... Uh, And ignore the... Actually, don't make the light cavalry cross until the heavies are across. One of them's across, but I think it's... Yeah, it's just a horse. The main French column is beginning to make landfall. Switch to canister and engage. Poor, poor Frenchman. So on this flank... Let's run my cavalry across, because it looks like they're struggling to pathfind across the bridge. I do like the amount of damage we're doing to all these veteran units. Two of the units are pulling back. Now then after this we'll push across the bridge. Uh, 
They're making it across though. It's the benefits that morale gives you. <laughs> Fair play to them, they made it. The closer they get though, my guns get more accurate. It's grenadiers and voltages. They may well, yeah, break to an immediate bayonet charge. Form ranks. Engage the last unit. There we go. So there goes the enemy. The enemy cavalry is already gone. Oh no, there it is. Getting my cavalry across. What have they got left? Grenadier Regiment. Oh, okay, they are coming at us. Just slaughter them with gunfire. We could actually fall upon them with bayonets at this point, but it seems a bit superfluous. Yeah, look, I don't think they really don't like crossing over the bridge, or at least not very quickly. Steady and exhausted. My horse guards outnumber theirs. But then again, theirs are experienced. We need to, we need to beat, them, beat their morale, really. That's what we want. Which we have done. So chase down and pursue those cavalrymen. <laughs> March on and attack the enemy guns and start knocking them out one at a time. mean. <laughs> Get the cavalry across the bridge. Get my infantry across the bridge. Well that's going to take a bit of time. Infantry Leger are coming back, eh? Very well. Time to cross the river. Cease the guns fire. Give them orders to cross. Team in a very tired. Go after that artillery unit there. The men are fatigued, I know they're fatigued. But they've got to do what they've got to do. They are soldiers of Sweden. Grenadiers are marching up ready. As are the 53rd foot. When my troops get to a safe distance, my artillery can just start shooting at them. Yep, yeah, so there's a unit of infantry. This is what happens. Understandably, they're trying to stop my cavalry from running riot around their rear areas against all their artillery, and I don't think it's going to work. There we go. Unit of my fourth foot guards are making clever 
making clear progress across. My light cavalry, on the other hand, Ruri does not want to cross. My general is going to join them. You men are going to have to run. My general is going to be here. Change my artillery target to the 53rd Regiment. Get my lifeguard out here as well. There you go. My horse guards are exhausted, so get them back to my line. Yeah, there's a gun team coming back, but they don't we don't worry about them. They're doing some damage to my guys. I was getting bored of just standing there waiting. But there we go. We've got two units three units of infantry across in short order. The others are going to go the long way round for whatever reason. Very well. All of you slaughter those grenadiers. going to advance against the 53rd and destroy them whereas my general is going to inspire and rally his men because those chaps can't be long for this world and when my more of my light cavalry have made it across, which they have, we can advance against the 36th Regiment of Foot, because they're exhausted. These guys are pathfinding is screwed up. There we go. Oh, they're gonna try and bayonet charge us. Bold of them. Charge my hussars in. Walk my horse guards in. Artillerymen are coming in. Could get my general to try chase down some of the other troops, but why bother? Yeah, my... <laughs> My heavy cavalry can't really get in. You bayonet charge the 23rd Regiment. There we go, the 36th Regiment of Foot is going down. They're just conscripts. And soon they will decide that fighting for the armies of Napoleon Bonaparte is not in their interest. Because cavalry is awesome in this mod. There we go. Chased away the artillery. All of my artillery cease fire. There we go. Walk my hussars on into their artillery. Ceasefire with my own 12s. I don't even know who they're shooting at anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, this, the uh, the speed mechanics of Empire when you fight Ruhr battles, they're, they're significantly different. I shall give them an order to attack this unit but not to charge. Just walk up to them and let's speed up time. Because nothing else is going on. 
The just... men are fatigued, sir. I, must I know away. they're fatigued. See, this is their general. Not that it makes a difference. He's only a captain anyway. But there we are. Aha! Hello! I just looked at my map. I was like, there's no more red, is there? And I suddenly went, ah, there are, there is red, I see. Both these units are exhausted, so they're going to hold ground. This cavalry is actually going to have a go. Because this is a fresh lifeguard unit. Lifeguard cavalry unit. Not just some guy. These are lifeguards. You can see the, the infantry de is already wavering. Because oh, yeah. they're, they're exhausted compared to this fresh cavalry. Doesn't help that their charge is being blocked by a small shed. Charge onto the 11th Grenadier Regiment. I assume you two can just pivot that way. There go the Grenadiers. 42nd Regiment are not in great shape. Especially when my general sat here blowing his bugle like a trooper. These guys are actually retreating over to my side of the river. Look at that. There's always one, isn't there? That unit's... Uh, you guys can chill out. Let the 7th light horse take him out, because these chaps are just... They're merely active. They've not done anything yet. Immediately brokered. There go the grenadiers. Finally. Oh, what? These grenadiers... I'm not going to be chipper for too long. Advance up some infantry support. Trouble is, they are grenadiers, so they could well hold us off. In which case, I'm happy to let them try. Ah, oh, there's an artillery unit coming, but everyone's coming back. Why can no one stay dead? Okay, yeah, you men chase them down. Seventh light horse charge down the 29th. And let's speed this up because for a battle that's not necessarily that uh, climactic, it's taken an awful long time. I mean, it is their general unit, I suppose. But there we go. Finally, yeesh. Note to self: defensive battles, defensive river battles, while useful, suck. <laughs> But we did manage to kill 2,600 Frenchmen for the loss of only 430 Swedes. So, boring, but tactically superb. Ooh, Prague and us share a border. That's not cool. Well, it is, actually. Oh, no, no, they don't. My mistake. I was misreading. They share a border of my ally. Looks like Prussia wants to come in and sweep away the French and try and uh, steal some of our glory. Focus on your own front, especially when it looks like the French have taken um, Munich. Was it Munich? No, it's Prague. So, yeah, the, Fr the Prussians did have Prague fairly recently. Yeah, it was this line I saw that made me think, aha, but no, that's Prussian territory. But you go have a look at Dresden, see who's over here. Is Bonaparte himself over here, maybe? Can't see him. That's some good infantry, though. But maybe that's why we're doing so well. <laughs> we're not actually fighting their top troops. <gasps> you have Prussia. You have per uh, Paris within your sights. Okay. 
So you will want to engage Maxence Beaufort, Lars Roma. If you advance to the southern side of the bridge, you will start to replenish your men. What have, what have we got at Reims? No one at Reims. So, Mr. Skaldebrand, can you leave Brussels? Minus two per... Minus two public order for exemption from tax. That should be enough. Or I can maybe transfer... Yes, I can. Just transfer this militia unit over. Minus one. That means you'll complain, but then you'll get, get in line. We'll build a great museum. Because Mr. Skaldebrand can attack the city here at Reims. Which will have a militia garrison plus some reinforcements coming in. And uh, Maxence Beaufort. And Mr. Von... Uh, Henrik Von Essen can advance and attack Paris. With Mr. Jeannot de Vandriel. With a pretty decent army. Good amount of foot guards in here and some reinforcements coming in. But I'm confident we can surround and destroy them. So we can have a double siege, a bit of double siege action actually, next turn. But we're going to start off with Mr. Skaldebrand attacking Reims. So looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. But thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for potentially a critical turn in our Swedish campaign. Cheers everyone.